Hello guys, Ed Bandicoot 101 here, and this is kind of awkward because I'm trying to do my review of my um, Beat Studio 2013 editions. Got no camera man, it's late, but I think I've just been playing with them and I've had enough time to decide, you know, what I think of the headphones overall. So, I'm going to give you the review now. Um, kind of ironic, I guess, I've got my phone with the crappy camera on it so I can see myself because I'm the only person here to record it. I apologise for the quality of the video, but thought it would be the best way I could do it. Um, so yeah, today I'm going to be reviewing the Beats 2013 editions. Uh, I have them here. Ironically, my phone is propped up against the Beats Pros. So yeah, I was listening to music a minute ago. So like, I still use them of course for music. Like, but I don't know, they're propped up against those so you can see me. Right here, I have the Beats 2013 editions, the studios. Um, this is the first pair that was legally sold in England. I actually own them because um, I went to Selfridges on the release day and they had 12 pairs in stock that I could see. Um, picked up the first pair, I was the first person on the till to buy them for 270 quid. Uh, it'd be going to be $299 wherever you're at. So here they are, the first pair sold in England you are seeing right now. Right, let's go over the first thing. Style. They look very modern, they look very slick, very nice, thin, yet feel very solid. Overall, I love the um, look of these headphones. Personally, one of the, f I think these look fantastic. They don't look quite stylish, I mean, like, you know executive like as the uh, Beats Pros that I've got there but then again they do look very modern very street very cool I do like these headphones a lot um, other things I should talk about really are the comfort while wearing them um, they sit on your head very nicely they're very comfortable the cushions are very soft uh, I find the headband on top pushes slightly on your head but uh, I, the Beats Pros don't do that but um, I find it does slightly but I wouldn't say it was uncomfortable and it doesn't cause discomfort in continuous use so I have no complaints really about the comfort um, compared to the Beats Pros of course the Beats Pros are very uncomfortable on the ear um, to be honest I'm probably going to do a separate video comparing them to the Beats Pros so I'm going to stop mentioning them so yeah, very comfortable, I like that a lot about them. Very comfortable and look stylish, so that's two very important boxes ticked. Uh, I think someone's just hung up outside my house, so hang on, I'm, I can't bother shut the window, so I apologise if there's any background noise. Um, yeah, speaking of background noise, isolation on these. Very, very impressed with that. This instant you put them on passively without them turned on, they isolate noise fantastically, I can barely hear myself speak. Um, the actual noise cancellation isn't Bose quality, it isn't fantastic, but then again it does cancel out things like engines, you know, if like a car's driving by and you've got these turned on 60% volume, you don't hear anything, even if there's four or five of them, I was very impressed with the cancellation. Um, they look very nice, I've got quite a, I've got quite high, high ears even though I've got quite a big head, so I don't have to make them any bigger, but they fit on my head nicely and, you know, they're very comfortable and look really cool no matter who you are wearing them, I guess. Um, yeah, the cables are very good quality, obviously they come with the regular cables, they've got the new kind of jack on them, but it's still just gold plated beat style cables, they work fine, no complaints about anything else. The hard shell case that comes with them, hang on, it's over there, hang on, I'll grab it quick. Um, it comes with control mic cable as well as a ch charger which goes into the wall depending on where you buy them, but it's a USB, so any USB port will charge them. Um, yeah, so the hard shell case that comes with them, very small and very strong, looks very nice as well, so I was overall impressed with that. So easy way to transport them around, they fold up very small and they are very thin, so they're really easy to transport around. Um, now, the most important part of them, I believe, other than the isolation probably if you're using them for things like plane journeys or in the car, is probably the sound quality. Now, I've been very in-depth into this. I'm not going to mention the Beats Pros as best I can, because that's what I've really been comparing them to for me judging the sound quality. Bass is... Obviously, if you equalize something, it is fantastic. Very deep, not muddy at all like the old studios. Um, I mean, like the old old studios, the first release. Not muddy at all like them. Um, very impressed with the actual bass. Mids are what I'm actually exceedingly impressed by. Um, very good. I, I mean, no other headphones I've got, hint, hint, Beats Pros or old studios, have mids quite as good as these. Because well, the Beats Pros do if you equalize them. But honestly... The mids are fantastic. The audio quality of people singing is brilliant. You really hear every word. It's crisp. It's amazing. I do find the bass lacks slightly compared to other headphones I'm used to. So, you know, if you're listening to rap, it's brilliant. You can hear all the rap, but you don't get the undertone quite as much. I personally like overpowering bass, so I found that a bit disappointing, especially it has the beat's name on it. Other things I thought were really important to mention were the, the treble was fantastic. It doesn't reverberate too well off the inner cup, but... Then again, you know, I was overall quite impressed with the um, treble and how to turn my screen on. Got the dark. Uh, yeah, so I was very impressed with the treble. Mids were fantastic. So if you're listening to anything like rock or anything that focuses primarily on vocals, you're going to love these uh, compared to the other beats line. I guess you're going to love these. If you do equalise, however, the bass is still there. It, 
really does, you know, kick really powerfully. It's still they still shake on your head a bit, but so you get still get the beat space if you want it there. They equalise very well, which is very impressive considering the other other studios didn't equalise too well. These equalise very well. Um, yeah, so that's overall my sand through the sand and everything. Other things I thought I need to mention were um, the fact that they are a fingerprint magnet. That's to do with obviously the aesthetics of the overall model. Um, fingerprints absolutely awful, as you can probably see. It's a very glossy finish, which means it's prone to fingerprints. I'm not too happy about that, but then again, you know, the only other option is getting something metal or that is a very matte design. And I don't think that looks quite as stylish. So yeah, overall, I'm very happy with these headphones. I would. If you're going to go and spend 270 quid in headphones, I would honestly recommend saving up the extra, you know, worth or 200 dollars. I would recommend saving up the extra hundred dollars or you know 70 quid and getting the pros if you have the money, because they are fantastic quality. But overall, I think these are very nice headphones. And if you literally just want some headphones for walking around with that need active noise cancellation and even passive, which I was very impressed with, I would recommend these. They are very good headphones, very stylish. They'll be coming out in the UK in September sometime, I believe. So if you want to grab a pair, you can get them then. As these were the first that were sold. So, you know, very proud of that, having the first pair in England. But um, yeah, that was my overall review of the Beat Studios. So thumbs up if you like the video. I will release some other bit. I'm constantly releasing videos of random stuff that happens, like e.g. gaming or tech videos, or any other stuff I bought that I think needs a review and needs to go out there. So that's my review of the headphones. Follow me on Twitter at bandicoot101. Um, you know, like the video, favorite the video, and subscribe for other gaming stuff or any other tech stuff that I will be doing. I've also got an unboxing. You can check the link in the description below to see the unboxing of these. I did that in London just after I bought the matches. That's quite a cool video. And uh, I wasn't, you know, on my own with advanced against the headphones either. I was, my mum was recording me for that, so it's slightly better quality, I'd say. So yeah, I'll catch you guys later, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Hey, I also thought I should mention the battery life quick, so I forgot to do that. The battery life of the Beats is fantastic as well. I haven't had any issues with it running out with me, as the battery gauge does tell you when they're going to run out as well. So I apologise for not mentioning that in the video.